NXL A-Level Maths Mechanics, October 2020, question two. A particle P moves with acceleration 4i minus 5j meters per second squared. At time t equals zero, P is moving with velocity minus 2i plus 2j meters per second. For part A, we need to find the velocity of P at time t equals two seconds. We're going to use the SUVAT equations for this. At this point, it's always good to list what we know and then it helps us find the correct formula. So we're looking for the velocity at the end. We know that t is equal to two. We know the acceleration is equal to four i minus five j. And we know that the initial velocity is minus two i plus two j. So we need a formula with v, t, a and u in it, which is v equals u plus a t. So putting our values into that, we get that v is equal to minus 2i plus 2j plus two lots of 4i minus 5j, which comes to 6i minus 8j. At time t equals zero, p passes through the origin o. At time t equals t seconds, where t is larger than zero, the particle p passes through the point a. The position vector of a is lambda i minus 4.5 j meters relative to O, where lambda is a constant. For part b, we need to find the value of t. So again, let's list what we've got. We want to find t. We know that r, the displacement, is lambda i minus 4.5 j. Our acceleration is still 4 i minus 5 j, and our initial velocity is minus 2 i plus 2 j. So putting all these together, we're gonna to use the formula r equals ut plus half a t squared. Putting our values in, we get that lambda i minus 4.5j is equal to minus 2i plus 2j all times by t plus a half of 4i minus 5j all times by t squared. We need to find the value of t. Now there are two unknowns in this formula. We've got the lambda and we've got t. But the lambda only appears with the i part of our equation. So if we set the j's equal to each other, we've got minus 4.5 on the left on the right, we've got 2t minus 5 over 2t squared. Rearranging, putting everything on the same side, gives us 2.5t squared minus 2t minus 4.5 equals zero. And then solving this, for whichever method you like, you can use the calculator, the quadratic equation, doesn't matter. We get that t is equal to minus one or 1 1.8, but we know that t has to be larger than zero, so it can't be minus one, hence t is 1.8. Part C, hence find the value of lambda. So it's a hence question, so we're gonna use the previous part. So here's our equation that we found in part B. This time we're going to use the I part of the equation because that's where the lambda is. So we end up with lambda is equal to minus two t plus two t squared. We know that t is 1.8, so substituting that in gives us a value for lambda of 2.88. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.